Come on in. You give us some good. Angelina Jolie right now. Thank All right, guys, we need you to have come yeah, up to the yeah, microphone. Right yeah. You look so good. Thank you, guys. Hi. Are you excited? Excited. Super excited. Just get this over with and <laughs> be on with my glamorous life and just get over this whole all-star battle on these girls. But are you nervous? Because, like, a lot of girls have it out for you, kind of. I use BGC to do what I came in to do, which was to use it for a platform, start my business, and be successful. And these girls, didn't, you know, they can't do it like me, and they just hate on me, which is fine. Mm -hmm. But, you know, they know I didn't need the money to be on the show. I did it for fun and see how far I went in the competition. Uh, congratulations to you because you have a really successful uh, swimsuit line. Yeah, I do. And it's going places slowly but surely. But, you know, I'm just proud of it. You know, this is what I went to school for. You know, mm -hmm. I grew up doing this. I'm from mm -hmm. Miami. It's what I've always wanted to do. So, you know, I'm thankful for Bad Girls Club for putting me on the map for people to know about me and know what I do. Now, After Buzz, you're one of our fan favorites this Thank season. Thank you. Uh, we're kind of confused. We had Camilla in here. We were kind of confused watching the season where she was so angry with you. And I know you were confused It's just hate. Well. She has no reason to be angry at me. Like, people watch it. They're like, what is your beef with Elise? She was there for you. Like, I t gave her my word. I gave her a clean slate on the show. I told her, you know, we could put whatever we have behind us, and that will be it. Just She just came on just being fake, talking about me, talking about we're cool, and just... Just use her being upset as an excuse to ruin all the thousands of dollars worth of stuff I had in the house. <laughs> Which it's like, okay, well, we told you not to bring expensive stuff, but all my stuff is expensive. What do you want me to do? But, you know. So was it recovered? None of it was recovered? The shoes? Um, no? Well, my Isabel Marantz are suede, so they got messed up in my mm -hmm. Jimmy Choo sneakers. But, you know, it's like whatever. I went back. My boyfriend was like, hey. Let's go shopping. She, she nice said she boyfriend. Yeah. <laughs> That's why they're mad. Exactly. She said she apologized to you, uh, and she wasn't sure how she how you felt about her apology. Wh how do you feel? I felt like it was fake. It wasn't genuine at all. Especially when I was going, I was hearing around the house that she was talking all this stuff about me that wasn't even true. Mm -hmm. Just making up lies. Like people that actually know me were coming to me. Was like, I can't believe Camila said this about you. Like ha ha ha. Like. Because she's never had a conversation, like an actual real conversation, a day in our, our lives. Like, it's just been hiding by small little things. So to just make up stories about someone you don't know is just, it's so just haters. Why did you feel so comfortable making an alliance with her if you didn't know her like You that? know what it was? I just wanted to see how far it was going to go. And I was just like, but I always had my wall up with her. I just was like, you know, okay, let's see where it goes. Because it was just so random how it even came about. Before we even went entered the house, she found out what room I was in in the hotel and called me and was like, oh, my God, I'm so sorry about all the stuff we happened to us in s season eight. I'm like, it's been like two years. Like, yeah, you're just not reaching out to her. Yeah, I don't know if I can but handle this. <laughs> she's like for real under the impression that you guys are cool now. So are you going to tell her that when you go out there today? I mean, I don't know why she think we we were cool. Like in this episode tonight, she attacked me again. Right. Yeah. So it's like there's nothing to be cool about. I mean, whatever beef we have, I hope we can squash it. If I see on the street, hi and bye. But whatever friendship she thinks there is, or whatever level she thinks we're on together, which we're not, is mm -hmm. just what it is. It's just we just can't be cool. I just can't be friends with anybody who wants my life and is just wanna put me down. And this is the second <laughs> show, including you know your season, you got jumped. This season, you were attacked, uh, you know, not only just by Val uh, uh, Camilla, but also by, you know, Amy as well. I mean, I'm, I'm sorry, Nancy. Oh, yeah. You when know, the whole thing. Yeah. The whole, with the whole purse and everything. You know, what made you come back? You know, especially after the first season. <laughs> $100,000? You know, well, $100,000, <laughs> yes. Yeah, see how far I can go, you, you know. because so quiet when girls confronted you. Why mm. was that? So I'm just naturally, like, calm, cool, and collect, like, they don't phase me at all, nothing they do. I mean, I know I'm comfortable in my skin and they're really not. Like, I actually look at them when I'm like sitting there and just looking at, I just feel bad for them. That's why I sit there so calm. I'm just like, wow, I need to pray for this girl. That's what I'm really thinking, you know? Well, we'll be here praying yeah. with you at Afterbook. Exactly. Uh, <laughs> we'll be back here during the show. We're gonna be watching the live feed and kind of having our own conversation. Yeah. So if anything's going on, you need to escape, we're back here. Okay, back. I'll be back yeah. here where I belong. Yeah, yeah. right, exactly. <laughs> Welcome to Open Arms. Good luck, girl. Thanks for Thank stopping you. by. Bye.